Hello everyone, in today's video I thought we'd answer a question that has been kind of plaguing me for a little while. Uh, so for those of you who know the game of command pretty well, whenever you go ahead and go up to the mission editor, you select the target and then you go to this and you create a new mission, it automatically defaults the attacking profile, especially in altitude, of the particular aircraft. Now those of you who really know command know the fact that the default profile generally is pretty darn low, which means when these guys go to drop, well, especially iron bombs, they basically cruise right through all the enemy AAA and get wasted. So obviously you can override all those things, and um, that's usually what I end up doing is I have to come in here and edit it, but I said, what actually is the optimum altitude in which to be trying to drop weapons onto a target that is the best trade-off between not getting shot up by, you know, a Zeus versus uh, actually being able to hit the target? So what I did today is I took a 5F16 CM Block 52s, this is the 2008 model, surprise, and uh, we're sitting here in uh, lovely uh, southeast England, and there's a bunch of targets, and uh, we're going to drop all sorts of bombs on them. So to help us out with this little experiment, I built myself this little tiny chart, and what I'm going to do is run the mission, see what happens at the different altitudes, and see if there's sort of like a sweet spot. And again, I can go run over to Google Sheets real quick and graph this one out. But again, like I said, just want to kind of experiment a little bit. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, develop the baseline value. So I'm going to go ahead and unpause here. We're going to send everybody in. Cruise, 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 cruise. This is uh, always kind of fun because, you know, the good people are enjoying their little um, kind of beach holidays and everything like that. And then this happens. <laughs> so I'd say um, out of five here, actually, we should go like this to confirm. Oh, uh, it looks like we got, let's, let's call it three and a half out of five here. So 3.5 out of five survived. Okay. Cool. So now let's reload that scenario. That actually was way better than I expected. I thought it was going to be vastly less accurate than that. But hey, I'll take what I can get. So let's go load it back up again. And we'll send them out to medium altitude this time. Or medium high altitude, let's call it. 25,000. So again, I'm not complaining. I was actually surprised we were able to plaster them. Keep in mind, the F-16 does have the benefit of, you know, GPS guidance and everything for its bomb site, which makes it a little bit more accurate. So let's go ahead and try that again. So now we're going to go dip down to 25 grand here. So we've uh, knocked off 11,000 feet. Uh, let's see what happens as far as a little test experiment goes. Again, uh, people have rebuilt their houses and, oh, and all of a sudden. Interesting. Okay, then. Let's go ahead and not change the thing so we can actually see our actual damage here. So that ended up to be... Ooh, didn't lose a single one. It certainly hit all of them. And again, I could run this experiment 60,000 times and get a better number here. But it looks like we really didn't do any real damage. So I'm going to call it like 4.7 out of 7. 4.7 out of 5 survived. Interesting. All right, all right. We're about halfway through our little experiment here. So now we're going to knock the uh, altitude all the way down to 12,000 feet. So we're just starting to enter the range of typical air-to-air, -air um, surface-to-air systems. Not including, obviously, SAM. SAMs can hit you anytime, anywhere, anyhow. So let's go ahead and grab all these, grab all these, medium altitude. Now I'm thinking we're going to be a wee bit more successful. Let's take a look. Back up to 15. The good folks over here in Southeast England, I just put my tent back up. Everything is fine. I really hope that uh, NATO is not doing those exercises on the beach again. Oh! <laughs> so, uh, let's see. That looks like... Uh, it's Okay, so we got four clearly damaged. Let's check it. So the actual damage done here is vastly less than luck. So I'm going to call this like 3.9 out of 5. So ironically, the 36,000 feet seems to be our winner so far. So, um, hmm, this is uh, not what I expected, but then again, maybe it is. Let's find out. So I'll reset the scenario one more time. This time we're going to send everybody down to 2,000 feet. We're going to put this one uh, just 2,000 feet here. We're not going to do above ground level or anything like that. Select this guy. We're going to do 2,000 feet. 2,000 feet. Now I expect to be able to kill all five of these. And again, this would be kind of my expectation. But hey, so far it's been disappointing. There's actually been no direct relationship to anything. We did fine at 36. We did fine at low altitude also. It might just be a function of the weapon too, but we'll find out. Oh, by the way, there's no wind. Bombs away. Okay, that was different. So that left a 0.8. 0.8 out of 5 survive. Okay, I think we found the magical altitude here. I'm guessing when I do it at 1,000 feet, it's going to be 5 out of 5. I must guarantee it. All right, let's try it. Go grab everybody again. Uh, F2, we'll set them to 1,000. I'm pretty sure this is going to be more than close enough. But what I am noticing as a general trend here is the fact that even though I've lowered them down this far, they still are, um, you know, slightly out of AAA range. And again, slightly is the key word there. All right, ah, nothing like a nice relaxing day. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to my lounge chair. And NATO came by again. Ooh. I call that, uh, that's like 0.2, technically two of them survived, so it's, I'm, I'm going to call that 0 0.2 out of 5 survived there. 0.2 out of 5 survived, but again, we did have two physical structures, and let's see what happens when we send them all the way down to minimum altitude here. 
Ugh, those things are probably on fire now, and they're probably going to burn themselves out anyway, so they're probably defeated. So now let's send them down to minimum altitude. So to be a little bit fair here, I'm just going to override this to 500 feet, because if I send them down to minimum altitude, they'll be too low to actually safely drop their bombs. So I'm just going to come in here and do one of these things real quick. Let's do manual override, 500 feet. Manual override. We could, of course, uh, do a little bit of variety here. Manual override and manual override. This is interesting, actually. I've got a, a question that I need to answer now on my own because now I'm, I'm getting curious, getting curious. And let's go ahead and send them over. They dropped the bombs. Uh, they did not drop the bombs. Uh, I'm guessing the reason they did not drop the bombs is they were too darn low. So let's go send them over here. I believe the minimum altitude on the Mark 82s. We should go check that real fast. Shame on me, it's 800 feet AGL. So this one, I'm just going to have to kind of call that one because we can't even drop the bombs lower than 1,000 feet. Okay, so uh, what can we conclude with this? Uh, too low. So let's see here. Um, when we do 36,000 feet, it's just about, all these altitudes are about the same. As a matter of fact, if I were to do one of these, uh, no, plus 3.9 divided by 3, that gives us about 4 out of the 5. So we only kill one house above 12,000 feet. The problem is, once we get down to 2,000 feet, all of a sudden we've suddenly, um, our average spikes. Let's just take the average of these two, plus 0 0.2 divided by 2. Oh, wow. So likely anything between 1,000 and 2,000 are going to be like that. So now I'm sitting here going, well, this is pretty cool and this is a uh, pretty useful information, but what if we actually want to make this a little more authentic? How will we analyze this? Well, I got an idea. So I'm going to grab my houses here. I'm going to get myself everybody's least favorite uh, air to air platform, surface to air platform. Uh, do, 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 ZSU. Oh, and of course, it's not called a surface ship. I believe it is called a facility. 23. Do, do. Ah, this is the one I like. Let's go ahead and get the nice Soviet Union version of it. Let's grab that guy. Let's see here. The altitude on the Zeus is up to 10,000 feet. So that means that um, we're always going to have to go ahead and attack more than one in house. But let's split the difference and assume 5,000 feet. So I'm going to go ahead and get him, get one of those, get one of those. Oh, I hate these things. They're such a passion. I've been dinged by these so many times. It's not even funny. Let's group them together. We're going to go ahead and flip on their radars. We're also going to say uh, they can shoot anything that looks dangerous. <laughs> that seems sketchy. We'll switch back over to our other team, and uh, we'll see if we can split the difference and try 5,000 feet to see if that works. So we'll do 5,000. Again, we're hoping this is going to work. I don't know, but again, we're just experimenting with a realistic scenario. Obviously, if I sent them down to um, 800 feet, they get splattered. So uh, we kind of want to think about that as well. We'll do 5,000, manual override. I feel like this guy did not get set properly. Oh, yeah, he did. Grab this one, manual override, 5,000 feet, 5,200 feet. I don't think so. We'll set 5,000. We'll come to this guy. We'll do 5,000 feet. Okay, so I didn't do 50,000, did I? No, I did not. All right, let's try now. So our F-16s are going to come ripping out here. They've immediately spotted... How did they spot them so quickly? Holy smokes. What is your secret? Oh, I forgot they had the sniper pods. Okay, that's why they're shooting so straight here. So we know this, the Zeus. The Zeuses, are we even able to identify them as Zeuses? Uh, let's see here. This guy's down to 5,000 feet. We're going to rip over the top of the Zeus and begin the AAA nightmare here. Bombs got released right on time. None of the Zeus has had a chance to fire. Ah, oh, nicely done. I don't even think any of those got a shot off. I'm actually going to go confirm that real quick. Let's go up to losses and expenditures. Did they actually fire? No. Interesting. Okay, so let's talk about conclusions for a second here. So we discovered that um, even though the maximum range of this thing was 10,000 feet, because the F-16 was traveling so fast and it was so high, the actual slant distance to the F-16 was about 7,500 feet, a good chunk of that time, meaning it was well outside of its effective engagement range, even though the F-16s had been de detected all the way down. The other thing we learned is chilling at that altitude was the fact we had no difficulty. We ended up getting, it looks like we left about 1.7 out of the buildings without having a single shot fired at any of these F-16s as they went flying over the top. So this seems to be a pretty good mess. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the last piece. And this is probably going to be the most useful one. So now I'm going to go back to here and reset this real quickly. Go back to Testa. We'll go again. Hang on. One of these days I'll name these missions something more creative than that, but too bad. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to go ahead and throw those Zeus's back up because everybody loves Zeus's. Grab one of these, grab one of these, grab one of these, grab one of these, grab one of these. Let's go ahead and copy them all. Group them up. Let's go ahead and slap them into the radar turned on mode. Let's go ahead and flip the air to air, engage anybody who looks not friendly. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do a practical application of this. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a random airfield. I'm sure that's in the middle of a lake or something like that, but too bad. It works for me. Airfield. We're going to go ahead and make it a pretty good size one. I'm not even going to name it. I'm going to grab these guys. I'm going to group them together. And I'm going to go ahead and create a mission. So I'll press Control F1. Strike it. 
we'll do a land strike, press OK. We'll go grab our F-16 group. Um, you can't even select five, so I'm just going to ignore this. Boop, boop. We're going to go ahead and select them like that. You can see they create the world's most convoluted flight plan in order to do this. But uh, let's see, what does he have to actually do here? So he has to go from here. Where is where is my waypoint to? Waypoint two is over here. Okay, so we have to run over here, go like this, come back to here, then come around. But what I will do is I will manually edit the uh, flight plan real quickly here. So that manually edit flight plan is super easy. You can just click on one of the waypoints, press F2, and now we can come in here and dial it. See how this is 200 feet? Let's use our new knowledge here. And we'll go swing this over to here, and we'll say manual override, 5,000 feet. Manual override, 36 is perfect. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, this is uh, 2,000, does not need to be. We'll put it up to, um, yeah, we could do like a pop-up attack too, so we could do 1,000, but I'm feeling more confident at about 5,000. Ingress, initial point, target, egress. Looks good to me, looks good, looks good, looks good. All right, let's see if uh, we can apply this. So all the F-16s here. You did not just edit my flight plan, did you? Okay, Whew. that made me nervous. Okay, still 5,000 feet. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. F-16 is coming down, they're coming down, they're reducing speed to regroup, they're hitting the initial point. Initial points hit, they're swinging around, they're picking up full speed. By the way, going to afterburner is one of the highest recommendations I can give you here. Bombs away. Bombs away. Bombs away. Bombs away. And one for the money, two for the show. Have some bombs and enjoy the show. Boom. Oh! Oh no! He got splattered. All right, so uh, let's see how we did. So let's go flip over to losses and expenditures. Uh, they got two buildings. They fired uh, plenty, 50 times 18. I can just divide by two. That's 900 rounds of 23 millimeter. Uh, we lost a single F-16. We dropped 30 bombs. But notice that several of my F-16s are walking away a little bit wounded here. Now, this is interesting because as we saw earlier, when we kind of did everything manually, we had super tight control. Now, imagine had I flown this exact same scenario, but I had done it at much, much, much lower altitude. So we have this one. They all impacted. They all impacted. Uh, we actually want weapon damage. And it would be helpful if it actually gave us the numbers on that one, where it talks about, yeah, here we go. High deflection shot, no effect, uh, 15. Look at the probability of hit was 20%. If we were at 1,000 feet, the probability of hit probably would have been, you know, 75%, which could have ended a lot worse. So hopefully this helps you as far as uh, making you consider what kind of bombing altitudes we need to use for effective attacks. It's another thing is it just goes to show you how effective this AAA is. Enjoy.